What's up y'all? Welcome back to our tip section. I'm Captain Frank Viola and today we're at Bel Air Bait and Tackle. I've got someone cool to introduce you to. This is Matt Gonzalez. He runs the shop. He taught me everything I know about what I'm about to teach you guys and we're going to show you how to tie up a stinger rig. We literally use this exact rig for all the kingfish tournaments on the west coast of Florida. This is not a bullshit way to do it. This is the right way to do it. Yep, to all the guys. All right, let's start off with what you guys are gonna need to tie the stinger rig. Number one, you're gonna need size two O'Shaughnessy treble hooks. You're gonna need a couple packs of O'Shaughnessy J hooks, size two watt. You're gonna need size eight Spros, which are really small, awesome swivels, up to 50 pounds. And then you're gonna need 30 pound seven strand, and this is called stainless steel leader, but it's called seven strand. And this is what we're gonna use to wrap our hooks. And last but not least, you need a pair of Dankos. We're gonna start with one treble hook, one J hook, one of these Spro swivels, and we're gonna start with about a foot and a half to two feet of this sure strand. So we'll go to about a foot and a half, two feet. I'll go about two feet because these kingfish have a tendency to greyhound. Greyhounding means they come from behind the bait and they'll chew up the line. So I'll go two feet. Get your pliers, you cut your two feet off. So you get your two feet, the seven strand, you put this on the side. Now all you're gonna do you're gonna take your treble hook and you're gonna look for the flat side on the treble hook. The opposite side of where that third hook is hooked into the treble hook, you're gonna lay your line through the bottom end of the eye and on the top of that flat spot. You're gonna hold it down with your pointer finger. Now all you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap eight times towards your finger from the eye of the hook. And you're gonna pull pretty tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna grab it with your pointer finger again. So you're holding the line, initial line, and you're holding the last wrap. You're gonna take the very end of this seven strand, you're gonna pull it through the eye, and you're gonna pull it tight. This initial hook, this first treble hook, you're gonna pull it tight, and you're gonna grab your pliers, and you're gonna pull that tag end on the bottom, the initial line, and you're gonna pull that tight. That's it. You're gonna cut your tag end off right there, the bottom of the hooks, and that's your first hook on your stinger rig right there. Step two now, you're gonna attach your J hook. And you're gonna want this hook to lay on the line like this, like you tied it to your initial line. So you're gonna go from the shank of the hook through the eye, and you're gonna slide it down, and you're gonna give it about four inches. So it's gonna be about that far up, and you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna hold that line, and you're gonna wrap eight times down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna pinch it, and you're gonna bring that back through the eye of the hook, and you're gonna pull it. And it's really simple, once you get used to it, that is your stinger rig. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna tie a figure eight knot to the swivel. So we're gonna bring it through, you're gonna make a loop, you're gonna loop back around and through the bottom, and you're gonna go back through the top end of that figure eight. Once you do that, you're gonna pull tight, and you're gonna pull it down. Cut your tag end again, and you officially have your stinger rig set up and done. Now I want to show you guys the double stinger rig. And this is what we use for bigger baits. It's the exact same thing I just showed you. There's just an extra treble hook between the J hook and the initial treble hook. So it goes treble hook, treble hook, J hook. And then we usually add about a foot of line, six inches to a foot before the swivel. This is for bigger baits like ladyfish, really big blue runners, whatever you guys want to use for king mackerel. The very last step, is gonna be to get yourself some plastic bags to wrap these individually up because they get stuck together and you'll never get them apart. The last tip I have for you guys, tie these ahead of time. Tie a couple dozen. Get enough hooks, get enough sure strand to tie a couple dozen because I'm telling you, it is an absolute pain in the butt to do this on the boat, especially if it's a choppy day. And once you hook a fish, whether it's a Spanish mackerel, a bonita, or a kingfish, it's gonna tear this thing up. You do not wanna use the same one twice, especially if you're a tournament fisherman, they'll, they'll chew through it. Especially if it's already had a fish hooked to it and they've chewed through it a little bit. You wanna change that. Every fish, you wanna change this out. That's your tip. Thank you for watching, I hope this helps. Uh, go win yourself a tournament. If you're in the tournament I'm in and you win, I'm gonna be pretty pissed because I taught you how to tie this. So, good luck.